What could the pathway for a male contraceptive look like? The aha moment. A researcher in a lab finds some component of reproduction that, when missing, seems to make men infertile. We'll call this the target. But does it work? The researcher runs tests on animals to see if their target can be changed in some way to make the animal infertile because, if it works in the animal, it might work in people. Drug feasibility for the target. The researcher begins to develop the actual contraceptive. In this process, they're trying to find a way to control infertility using their target in a way that can be delivered to a person. Are we sure? Lots of testing happens to make sure that the drug works and is safe and viable as a contraceptive. But is it safe? The researcher refines the drug even more to make sure that it's safe. They also choose the right dosage form, like a pill, a shot, or an implant, and make sure that the dosage, how long it works, and effectiveness are just right. It works. But does it work in people? If the drug has so far shown to be safe, effective, and have a reliable dosage and dosage form, then the researcher applies for an investigational new drug application, allowing the drug to move on to human studies. There are four stages of clinical trials. Each evaluates the safety and effectiveness of the drug in humans, and the drug must show its effectiveness over the duration of its intended use. As you see, getting a new drug to market is very difficult, and it can take years or even decades while costing upwards of one billion US dollars. For more information, please visit malecontraceptive.org.